public transit is always bullshit, and that is no secret. If you need to get somewhere and you don't have a car, or a license, or you just really want to jerk off in public, then public transportation is really your only option. I'm not talking about transit, not for downtown at least. I mean, downtown transit at least functions. I'm talking about suburban public transit, because let's face it, there's not a group more oppressed today than white people and suburban hipsters. Here in York Region, we got York Region Transit, YRT. Simple, right? Well, you are obviously a f***ing idiot, because we also have Viva! Already, why the f*** are there two different companies running the same f***ing city? TTC, Toronto Transit Commission, only has one bus line for the much bigger city of Toronto. But YRT, throwing some f***ing class action shade, has two. Viva, in theory, is supposed to be faster because of the fewer stops, but because Viva does literally whatever the f*** it wants, it never appears when it's supposed to. And you can't find anything on the YRT site. I mean, look at the How am I supposed to find anything here? So you have to look up what you want on a search engine. So we have two bus lines, with one being a tiny bit faster if you close your eyes. I guess. Oh, but better not stay out late, sister, because these buses got f***ing book club in the morning. So that means the last bus stops at 12. 12. Really? This basically means that the bus usually stops before 12. That means that you have a night shift until 12, you can't take the f***ing bus home. So basically at this point, you just resign yourself to the fact that you will forever and now on be known as the bus bitch. I do not fear the valley of death, for I use the Viva to get to school. The Viva is so bad, it has to be something left over from the Cold War. The Viva has four seats, with two on each side, in a square, staring inwards towards each other. Sitting here, you are unwittingly taking part in a social experiment, where four strangers try awkwardly not to make eye contact by looking straight. But even then, that is better than standing in the Viva. Because when standing in the Viva, that means you are basically taking your life into your own hands. Because every time the Viva turns, every time, you have to hold on to it like the of Christ, because if not, you're going to be sent flying. And I have tiny baby hands! I'm not equipped for urban warfare like this! Basically, Viva is the closest thing to governmentally funded abuse. Don't worry though, we still have the same shit that everyone has to deal with. Like Schrodinger's bus. The bus that is both on time and late, depending on how bad your Stockholm Syndrome is. Or my favorite, the only guy left that single-handedly keeps the boombox industry alive, who is nice enough to play his own rap loud enough for the whole f***ing bus to hear. Wait a minute, isn't that the same way people discovered Drake? The end. Huh. That's a weird way to end a book. Well anyways, thanks for watching and... Wait a minute... Who the f*** am I talking to? Uh... Ah! Oh, thank goodness. It was all just a dream. Or was it? The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round. Round and round, the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round.